Open your eyes, open your mind We are the Wings Wings If your hand is holding mine We can fly through space and time And together we'll be sure by winners Wings With a smile you can enchant You light up our world We'll fly the moon they sky together Open your eyes, open your mind We are the Wings It's a magic night The Pixies have succeeded in repelling the Trix's attack, destroying Valtor's hideout in Gloomwood Forest. But the Sorcerer is ready to strike once more. Sunshine spell. Oh. All right, I can handle this. Okay, let's see you handle this now. Sound cave. Wow, it's working. A break. I used up all my power on this one. My, oh my, what's going on here? Why are you fighting? Don't worry, Lockett. We're not really fighting. Yeah, since Valtor and I both get our power from the dragon fire, we figured if we can find a way to beat my power, we can use it to beat his, and so that's what we're trying to do. Flora, your turn. Okay, here goes. Sorry, sweetie. <laughs> Layla. The tradition of Andros has always been that parents pick a partner for their children. I know. Oh. But I don't care about tradition. Anyway, I'm too young to think about marriage, and when the time comes, I'll choose my guy. Nabu's a wonderful young man, Layla. And I'm gonna marry him because I love him and... Got huh? it! I found out how to defeat the dragon fire! Sorry, Mom. Gotta run. This book relates the story of how the magical universe came to be. In the beginning, when the great dragon fire was born, an opposite force was also created. This force was contained in water stars, and these uh, were the... Now, hang on a second. I thought water stars didn't exist anymore. In this dimension, they don't. That's true. Where do they exist, then? Well, because they're naturally opposed to one another, the dragon fire and the water stars couldn't exist in the same dimension without causing absolute chaos. Something had to be done to restore the balance. And so the ancient wizards came together to collect the water stars and seal them off from our dimension. Do we know where they are? Yes, they're in the Golden Kingdom. Huh? Okay, where's that? The portal to the Golden Kingdom lies at the base of the Red Tower. Yikes! That's in the Vale Mist Forest, beyond the Barrier Mountains. That's a dangerous place! Oh, that's weird. What is? 
The Navi transmitter is acting kind of funny. It's probably broken. There's gotta be a spare in the supply bay, Timmy. And if it's not broken, then what? Well, if it's not broken, it's kind of scary because it's showing a great big void where the Veil Mist Forest should be. In other words, there's literally nothing in front of us. Nothing? Yeah. According to this Navi transmitter, we're gonna end up flying right off the edge of the world if we keep going in that direction. Someone in here? Hmm. Ah! Ah! <gasps> you! <gasps> ah! oh! Gotcha! Now talk! That's my foot! Huh? All right, now, put your hands where I can see them. Layla, are you forgetting the magic word? Or I'll blast you with all the energy I can muster? <laughs> By magic word, I meant please, but oh well. Now, get up. <sighs> you know, last time we met, you and I were never properly introduced. My name is Ophir. Turn around, walk slowly, go. All right. It's just a glitch, Timmy. I don't know. Maybe we should land in the Barrier Mountains and walk from there, just in case this isn't just a glitch. What do you think? Look what I found. What? You again? Here, Timmy. I... I can explain. You better. And it better be good. You know, I wanted to go to Veil Mist Forest to practice my invisibility spells against the monsters that live there. But with all that's going on with Valtor, I couldn't find any transport, so here I am. He's lying. No, I am not lying. I snuck aboard just as you were getting ready to leave. Okay, then. How'd you know where we were going? I, I, I heard you talk about it at Althea, and I, um... Lies. Hey, we don't know that. Flora, you forget that it's because of him that Valtor got away with the Agador box? Give me the box and the tricks, and I'll let him go. Yes, I totally agree with Tecna. This guy's got spy written all over him. I don't think we can trust him. Guys, I really hate to interrupt, but we'll soon be on the other side of the Barrier Mountains, so if you have messages you want to send or anything like that, now's the time to do it. Have we decided what to do with this guy yet? Yeah, I'm taking him to the brig. Musa, the best thing to do is to put addle shackles on him. They're in the compartment next to you. That'll keep him from using magic. That won't be necessary. We think so. Better safe than sorry. I couldn't agree more. Hey, Helia, it's me. I hope everything is all right. I just wanted to say hi before we got to the other side of the mountains. Say hi, everybody. Hi, Helia. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hi, Helia. Well, I'll see you when I get back. Bye. Come on. Uh-oh. What uh-oh? I just installed the new Navi transmitter and... And? The readings are the same, and if we are to believe them, in five minutes, give or take a few seconds, we're gonna fly right off the edge of the world. Huh? <sighs> I am not a spy, I'm telling you, I'm one of the good guys. Timmy, Timmy activate I'm the waiting. bars. Look, if I could just... Hey, you stay in there! Huh? <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. Timmy, deactivate! Hey, Layla, I think you need to press the little intercom button to reach Timmy. But I can't talk to him because I can't reach the intercom button. Well then, I guess you and I are in here together. Since we're stuck like this, we might as well talk and maybe get to know each other a little better. Okay, so what kind of music do you like? You know the band, The New Waves? I saw them play at the Abfos Arena on Andros. It was such a great show. Huh. Feelings and love, science from above. I was at that show. No way! Really? Yeah. And it's passion and love, science from above, actually. It happens to be my favorite song. 
Mine too. And especially the line that goes, Nobody makes decisions for me but me. Great stuff. Love it. Yeah, totally. I... Hey, hang on a second. Are you putting a charm spell on me or something? Not at all. I'm just being myself. Well, stop it. Now tell me, what were you doing on Andros? <gasps> Stay put. Hang on, we're going down! I'm doing everything I can to stabilize it, Timmy, but... Do you believe the slops they were dishing up for breakfast this morning? Shh. What? What you got there? Message from Flora and the others. Hi. Hi. That's nice of them. <gasps> Wait, go back. Why? Look, right there, see that? Who's that guy? And why is Musa about to kiss him? Ugh. Hmm. Good question. I don't know, maybe she's just... Riven? Uh-oh. It's this way! We're on the right track! Listen, are you sure? We're positive, Stella! We sense these things! It's a gift pixies have! Trust us! Yeah, it's a good thing you brought us along because if you hadn't, you wouldn't be. Oh! What was that? Oh! Oh! Sky! Oh. Huh? Ah! All right! <laughs> 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 Take him on! Winx Enchanted! Unlock the shackles, I can help! Oh. Uh-uh, not a chance! Uh. Oh. Ah. Believe me now, I told you, I'm one of the good guys. Sun energy! 
return to nature! Basically, you could have gotten out of those shackles this whole time, but you didn't. Well, you told me not to. Oh. Layla! <gasps> what are you doing? You know what? I think you should put the shackles back on my wrists. Your friends have much more important things to worry about right now than whether or not they can trust me, Layla. Layla! I'm over here, Bloom! It doesn't make sense, Piff. I fixed the right wing, reconnected everything, calibrated the systems, and I still can't get any power. Oh, oh. Huh? What is it? What's over there? All right, who's there? Yo, relax, mainframe. Oh, ribbon! All right, where's that guy? Which guy? Oh, you mean Ophir. He's in the forest with everybody else. Hey, Riven, wait! You can't go out there alone. Only the pixies know their way around. Piff! <laughs> Come! Tuta? Mm hmm We've got to stop now. We can't go any further. Why is that? It's very dangerous to go near the Red Tower. But you always said pixies weren't afraid of danger. Well, there's danger in danger, okay? Besides, we have to get back to Pixie Village. Goodbye, Bloom. <laughs> Don't worry, Locket. We'll be back before you know it, I promise. But you've got to understand that we have to find a way to stop Valtor. And when we do, all of you will be able to come back to Alfia and we'll all be together again. All right, everybody follow me, single file. Let's do this! Huh? So, where is this famous portal? I think this is it! Hmm... Come on, open it! There's something written on this one. Well, what does it say? Sky! Up there, look! Maybe I should take these off. Please do it.
right? Musa? Put her down! Look, she needs help. I won't tell you again. Put my girlfriend down now! What is waiting for the Winx beyond the threshold of the Red Tower? What is the secret of the water stars? And what is Ophir's true face? Find out with us in the next episode of The Winx Club. If you're a Winx, there's a place for you. Meet a thousand friends to share your dreams and faith. If you're a Winx, you can never lose. If you trust your heart, 